First off, I want to compare baselines versus benchmarks. Both of these techniques are performance measuring tools. Let's take baselines first. Baselines actually set up a framework, a framework before any program or project begins, and then we use that as a basis for implementation. So they're similar baselines and benchmarks, but a baseline you could consider like a line in the sand where our security project or our security program is taking measurements and attributes for future reference. So you're identifying a significant state and the significant state may or may not be a good state or an acceptable state, but it's a basis for future decisions. Okay. Now, a benchmark is assessing the relative performance. It's comparing performance to guidelines and industry best practices. For example, we can see here the first five of the CIS 20 controls. Or you could base it on the NIST 27000 series. If you think about where the word benchmark comes from, a long time ago if somebody was part of a guild or they had a trade and they did repetitive tasks. Let's say they're creating lumber, okay? They're sawing large trees into consistent lengths and boards, and they would place notches on the workbench to indicate the, where they're going to place the boards before they cut them. So that term benchmark literally comes from sawing lumber. So it became a standard for comparing, and it was an indicator of your past success. Whereas a baseline is a measurement of a known configuration that we use as a reference for subsequent measurements. So baselines and benchmarks are important. And again, here at Brio, we use NIST and we use the Center for Internet Security as our main benchmark. Prototypes are early draft versions of a product or a service delivery that allows the development of future ideas and future improvement. It expresses the intent behind the overall design concept or it could be just a specific feature prototype. It saves time and money since it comes before full development. One of my favorite examples of a prototype is in Back to the Future where in Doc's garage he had set up the prototypical downtown of Hill Valley and he's showing Marty how he's gonna time the DeLorean to you know get struck by lightning from the clock tower that prototype he sets up and it's you know it's almost perfect he's, he's apologizing for it and it can come in a wide assortment of forms okay so like an architect can have a, a prototype of the building that he or she is going to design or in our standpoint we'll have prototypes of systems and services so we could use, you know, application and system labs, you know, a combination of physical and virtual machines, maybe in an air-gapped environment to prototype our security solutions, maybe our next generation firewall implementation. We could use, you know, private virtual labs like VMware vSphere 6.5 or higher. We could even use public or hybrid solutions, maybe Akamai, Microsoft Azure, Oracle, IBM, uh, Google Cloud Platform, and in a second I'm going to show you how we can prototype Amazon Web Services or maybe Docker Bench. There's a Docker Bench for security at GitHub and it's a script that checks for a bunch of different best practices around deploying Docker containers in production. So a quick case study for Brio is we need to develop a general data protection regulation GDPR initiative for one of our new clients. This is a global company they have to process personal data uh, of EU residents and visitors for their company and their particular company is in retail. It'll affect global hospitality organizations, financial, financial services, defense contractors, aerospace, pharmaceutical companies. And this has to be put in place by May 25th, 2018. Now when you're watching this, it may be beyond May 25th, 2018. So we can assume if you're watching this after that date that we still need to put this in place for a company who was unable to become compliant. Okay, they're scrambling with their compliance program. Because just like with HIPAA and PCI DSS, the chances are only about 30 to 40% of companies ever really become compliant by the hard deadline that they get. Okay, so this is a great example. So what we might want to do is 
We might want to create a baseline. We might want to uh, do prototyping. We might want to use the baseline process to see where we stand, for example, with our data inventory or our transaction processing, doing gap analysis, uh, understanding the EU subjects access rights, uh, ways to notify of data breaches, and our overall information security architecture. So we could use a prototyping tool up at, let's say, lucidchart.com to go in and do some flow charts and some workflow and some processes, ERD tools and others. And we're going to look at Lucidchart in lesson 12. But real quickly, I want to go look at how we can do some prototyping for this type of case study or for some web app design. And maybe we're designing a web application to help our client become GDPR compliant. Or we need to prototype some network security design to help them secure EU subjects' data and put in countermeasures against data breach and data leakage. So I'm at lucidchart.com, one of my favorite sites, and we're in the Amazon Web Services application publishing area where you can see where, as part of your prototyping, you can come in and you can create your design using these diagrams and these icons and these templates. So this is a, a great way to do like a paper prototype before we actually go and start deploying this. And you know, we can bring in expert judgment to test this and get feedback on it. I apologize for not being able to see it all at one time. I have to record this in a really low resolution. Okay, so, but you can see that here's an example of, you know, using SharePoint with SQL Server on the back end also part of Active Directory. And over here on the left-hand side, we've got our different icons, you know, our compute icons from uh, Amazon Web Services. We've got, if we move up here, we've got some mobile service icons, mobile analytics, Cognito, uh, other tools that we can use in AWS, you know, Amazon Elastic Cache Node, Load Balancer, Elastic Network Instance. Then we've got some SDKs up here uh, for example, JavaScript, very popular, PHP, .NET, Android, Eclipse Toolkit. And again, so you can use these icons, tons of database icons here, MySQL, Oracle. So you can use these icons to prototype your various application, web application publishing solutions and, and use this as a very important tool in the early development. And so this will save you lots of time and money to diagram this out before you just go up and you start implementing this in AWS. So it's a very important early phase and the more time you spend in this prototyping and diagramming, the more money you're gonna save in, in time and resources and just eliminating configuration errors and eliminating mistakes of just deploying the wrong solution or oversubscribing or undersubscribing your components. Now, maybe I'm not doing a web application. Maybe I need to have a network diagram so I can implement my security solutions uh, for a particular network, and I want to prototype that. Let's say here at Brio, we're going to go and prototype for one of our uh, medium-sized enterprise customers. And again, we can go here and use an AWS solution for their hybrid or public cloud. And again, we can go and use a wide variety of networking icons over here to build their network solution up in the cloud infrastructure as a service, for example. And again, we've got the same types of SDKs and other icons, mobile services and compute solutions. And then down here, we've got our some of our security identity options, which we would probably be using uh, in AWS for our cloud solution. And then if we go on down further, we've got some management icons and some storage content delivery icons that we may be implementing in there and application and analytics goes on and on and on. So again, prototyping, very important. Two examples that we could do for Brio, prototyping web application development and prototyping our network security solution.